our topics how has this um these last few months and the quarantine been for you like overall experience how you taking it i feel like it's crazy because it's waves it's it's waves of different like eras like at first i remember this time last year i lost my job i was like i don't know what i'm about to do like i had a career and i had you know things i wanted to do i had this whole goal of traveling to a new city every month mm. Mm. <laughs> It, the whole um, world shut down so you're definitely the one to do it too yeah i had like planned out like i had to my trips were canceled everything so it was kind of just like the uncertainty that uncertainty i should say that had me confused like i didn't know but it's also very i don't want to say i would say relaxing in a way like it felt good to not have to worry about certain things like there's no fomo of going to an event because you know why there's no events right Mm -hmm. Right, there's no like pressure with career stuff because honestly 99 percent of us ain't got a job anyways it's one of those things where i just felt like people could more focus on themselves and i definitely did that but then summer opened up a little bit and it was lit and unemployment was kind of lit too i'm not (laughs) oh yeah that people definitely cashed out yeah yeah Uh, it was definitely i feel like it's different waves of feelings i feel like everyone still feels that way but i'm happy that we're progressing into the light and it's not us going to open up and then shut down i don't think that's in our future i think we're just progressing from here question when you said you was planning on visiting a new city every month Mm -hmm. that's nationwide or you was open to the world too I was open to the world too. Like mm-hmm. literally, I came from. I was in New Orleans the first week of March, mm-hmm. so that was like already. I I went to London and Paris in January. I went to where was it? I just went to Atlanta in February, and then like New Orleans, and then I was supposed to go to Puerto Rico the next month. So mm-hmm. it was just yeah, I had it all planned out. But and she do all this stuff dolo, right? Yeah. Well, no, New Orleans I did with a friend, mm-hmm. but um. Yeah, most of the time I travel solo. Yeah, That's she's a up. solo tripper. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. Which That's, which I want to like do too, but I, I haven't. Too. I haven't yet. I'm I haven't telling yet. you, yeah. try it. Try it at least once. At least do like Philly. That's where I, how it's I like started. Like going to movies with, by yourself. Yeah, which which I but love. Way better. By the way. Which See, I love. Way way better. If you yeah. love that, the feeling of after you do a solo trip, you're gonna be like, yeah, I could do this. I have a friend that um, you do what you want. When Andrew Hansu's cousin, he went to. He's Spain, he, I believe. No, no, no. He was supposed to go to Japan with some friends. Oh, mm-hmm. they ended up canceling. And he just went. Like he spent a month out there. That's what. That's Airbnb, what. Airbnb met people. That's what I'm saying. You just meet so many people. Cook, he lived with a family. I yeah. think. Yeah, but like, Did he? you know what? Mm-hmm. Being Ask by him. yourself though, you have more initiative to like meet people. Yeah. You go somewhere because yeah, you know it's only yeah, you. Yeah. You have no choice. It's either, and if you don't feel like it, you don't have to talk to anyone either. So it's right. like a win-win. Right. Yeah. So are you going to resume that list? Um, you know, I've been very um You careful. traveled recently too, right? Yeah, well I was I went to DC recently, but I went to Miami honestly for self-care. Like it wasn't even like a solo like it was a solo trip, but it wasn't like a <laughs> solo trip adventure for right. like whatever. Yeah. It was just I Part needed to get away. You were before the madness. Oh yeah. Before people <laughs> So when I went to Miami first well of all um, it was spring break and I totally forgot that it was spring break. You know, when you grown, you don't like right, remember right, these yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, why is it so packed out here? And I'm like, oh, it's spring break. And they had curfew for 12 the weekend that I went. Mm. But it was smelling like black and miles. Like, it was bad. It was real ghetto. <laughs> it's a little too ghetto for me. But but that's Miami though. Nah, like, you knew that. Nah, I, I frequent Miami a lot. That was top tier. Like people is coming out the pandemic. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I don't know. It was too much for me. Yeah, and then the you. next weekend, that's when everything went crazy and they like started closing at eight. Yeah. Which didn't work. People on cars, cop cars, people I will tell you, okay, so when I was there when the they closed at twelve, I people would literally them. just it would be a hard close and everyone's outside in the streets. Yeah. So it's like there's nothing Ocean Drive type yeah. shit. Yeah. So hmm. um I don't You've been there before, it. Miami? Mm-hmm. Ever been? I don't recommend it during mm-hmm. spring break. Yeah, it's a little too. I mean, it's a little too hectic for for, for my liking in spring break. Yeah. Um. Like, yeah. I mean, I definitely recommend going there at least once just to experience it. But yeah. I think it's overrated. Me, per, I think my name's overrated. Yeah, it I is. think so too. That's yeah, why especially I, like I we're not even big parties like it. that. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I just feel like if you want to do Miami right, don't don't have that notion of you're just gonna stay on South Beach. 
A lot of people yeah. do that, and Miami has way more places. Like, Facts. you could go to Wynwood, you can go to downtown Miami, North Miami, um, and it's more grown, but still lit, just minus the, you know, ratchetry and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Ratchet-y. I recommend that. Yeah. That's cool. That's calm. I, um, I had some trips planned last year that all got canceled as well. You know what um, that means, though. We got Flight re- credits. Nah, the thing is... I got a I got a cruise uh, credit. Okay, I didn't mm-hmm. I get a chance to book. I was supposed to go to Spain with Kami mm-hmm. in May. Oh, that would be so Canceled. dope. We was gonna go to. Why y'all ain't invite me? Hmm? I feel y'all are fake. <laughs> Yo, so you want all these trips? Like, you, you don't invite nobody. I don't invite anybody. You're right, but y'all invited each. Other. I would have so man. <laughs> it was just out there. I'm like, right, I'm gonna text man. him. And That's then, cool. then we supposed to go to. He recommended going to uh, Houston for Memorial Weekend. Oh, I did go to Houston. So I'm like, too. all right, let's see. Canceled. I had a crew, New Year's cruise with my family. Canceled. Yeah. I was supposed to go to Africa, Ghana. Canceled. Damn. So. And I ain't gonna front. I did have a a trip coming up with um with some friends for Costa Rica, but I actually doubt I actually doubt the bat because that that's supposed to be in May, and in May they're gonna be um like you know Creepy Joe wants everybody to give he wants most Americans to be vaccinated by and May. Don't know what's gonna happen. With so that. Yeah. I don't want to be out there and then they flip the switch and be like, Yo, you guess what? Go. You got to the vaccine. You need your vaccine passport, which I just saw. New York State supposedly supposed to be the first state to launch those yeah. uh, uh, those vaccine passports. Maybe to mind their business about my so passport. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know it's a little up that. in the air right now. So, so I'm gonna just you know I'm gonna chill out until Denmark know. already passed theirs their laws. The, what for vaccine what? passports? Oh, really? So, mm-hmm. Like it's required type mm-hmm. shit for you to go there. Yeah, Man, fuck Denmark. They're eventually nah. going to pass. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Shout yeah, Stephen G too. He sent me a clip earlier of um, Riza Islam talking about healthy people 2020. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that, yeah I had that was spoken like, about like that in 2018. Ago, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. That was three oh, years ago. Three years ago. I had spoken about how 90% uh, Americans pushing for 90% of Americans to be vaccinated by October 2020, 2021. And here we are. Right on schedule. Yep. And this was way before. This a whole two Pandemic. years before COVID. Yeah. So now is COVID real or is it strategically mm-hmm. implemented? I think it's both. Okay. I think it's both. Okay. I just I have a lot of I think that COVID is it real because be real. People, people are dying, dying you know. Yeah. But yeah, double World Trade Center people died. No, I'm gonna what yeah, I'm Yeah, two say things though, can be true. Okay. I lost my grandparents, right? via this whole covid thing but they didn't die from covid they just died because they're old mm-hmm. and may they rest in peace yes yeah, and but they were their deaths were labeled as covid mm-hmm. so this is what i'm saying i think that covid is real i think there's an exaggeration in the numbers nah, definitely and there's also whatever mess they're doing but yeah yeah no nah, yeah no nah, for sure yeah. i definitely think it's, it's um a lot of orchestration yep I agree. going on it's a lot of um stat padding mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying number padding um I guess, you know, we'll just have to find out and uh like the full cause I I always <laughs> tell folks, the shit that I'm exposing now and shit in a few years, it's gonna be documentaries coming out and it's gonna come confirm everything niggas done said. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, just, you know, be safe out here. Be safe. But you wanna get into some uh some shit before before <sighs> before we really pick the woman's brain, you know what I'm saying? Pick the we woman's brain. I'm excited we, for this. We haven't had a Woman perspective on this pod and so long, like we said. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited. Some, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Right, so. <laughs> Not the we'll, we'll see. see. I don't even know the topic, y'all. This is about to be. Oh.